And we are joined at this hour by uh, former India cricketer Yajurvendra Singh and uh, Team India fan Rishi Chabra. Uh, Yajurvendra Singh, let me start by asking you this. Uh, and let me address the elephant in the room. India playing two back-to-back -back matches on two days uh, on, on, in 24 hours. Uh, is it about maximizing broadcasting profit? And uh, if it is, how important is it to uh, maximize this broadcasting profit and uh, risk players' health? Because what we saw yesterday might have been a result of that. Rohit Sharma suffering a back spasm. So definitely, uh, this has got a lot of commercial interests. I mean, otherwise, this whole tour to West Indies is quite a uh, fast uh, because you do need uh, your, your good players to be, you know, gradually mo uh, modeled into the team and, and you shouldn't put them into so much of stress. I think after this Zimbabwe, then they come here, they are going to play the Asia Cup. And uh, I think the whole itinerary should be looked at much more uh, in depth. Rather than you know trying to uh, trying to just uh, commercially trying to exploit it, uh, I guess money plays a part as well because BCCI and all the other. This is not the BCCI so much as giving finances to the other uh, ICC countries like West Indies and Zimbabwe. So I think it's a goodwill gesture which we are doing, and uh, I don't know. Only thing is we are stressing our players uh, excessively. Let me ask this question to uh, Anis Sajan as well. Uh, Anis Sajan, uh, what is it about uh, two matches in two days? Uh, is it good for cricket? Is it what is happening here? Well, uh, let's be very honest. Uh, if anybody to, if you ask to play two days in uh, cricket in two days time and such hectic cricket, it's not good for the body. Your body is not a machine. It's going to break down eventually. Not with what happened with Rohit Sharma. I'm just saying that in a matter of time, anybody would break down. Not everybody is a so-called Virat Kohli. But even he wants a break. That's a different thing. He wants a break for his form or whatever it is. But the body needs a break. Right. Uh, let me address that. Uh, Rohit Sharma's injury. And, I'm ask, uh, and I would like to ask uh, uh, this to you, uh, Anis Sajan. Rohit Sharma got injured yesterday. If he sits out, uh, we'll go into the Asia Cup with the likes of KL Rahul and Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma uh, out of match practice. Is this ideal for Team India in a tournament like the Asia Cup? Not at all. And I'm not only worried about the Asia Cup. You want your squad which you have in mind, which will be picked for the Asia Cup, which is going to play the World Cup, to be ready and playing together. Okay, then an injury happen after that, that you can't do anything about it. But the fact is that this Asia Cup would be an ideal campaign for us to be playing, uh, you know, the World Cup in Australia. Okay, the conditions will be different. But you want all the big boys and the centerpiece players to be in the squad. Absolutely. Um, Rishi, having said that, India versus Pakistan has been announced. The match will happen on the 28th of August. Excited about that? Uh, Osama, before I answer that question of yours, I would also like to tell all the viewers that, you know, Monday and Tuesday was a national holiday in St. Kitts. So that was another reason that the West Indies board scheduled two games back to back. And, uh, you know, coming to the Asia Cup, we're really excited, you know, that the first game is on the 28th of August. And if everything goes well, in a spam of 14 to 15 days, we might get to see three uh, India-Pakistan games. So, when it comes to the, you know, broadcasters, they would uh, definitely be more than happy than the fans because it's going to be a lot of uh, money uh, coming their way with the broadcasting and everything. But, uh, you know, really looking forward to the Asia Cup because that's the perfect situation, perfect scenario for us, you know, to prepare for the T20 World Cup that's in Australia uh, later in October. Right. Uh, Yajur Vainz was saying, let's also talk about Surya Kumar Yadav's knock. He took, a, took the attack to the West Indies, scored a brilliant half century. What did you make of that knock? See, he's a tremendously innovative batsman uh, and, and he's been very impressive in the IPL as well. And we know his capabilities. Uh, I think he's coming out to becoming a, a very good limited over cricketer as such. And uh, he's keeping on proving it off and on. And the uh, only thing is I'm a little worried about is that this time it was as an opener. We are just, uh, I think we are just complicating uh, our whole batting order uh, a lot. You know, you're not letting anyone settle down. So, I mean, he's going to be a part of the T20 squad, definitely. And uh, the more we see of him, uh, the better he's getting, the more confident he's getting. And uh, he's a brilliant player uh, at that, uh, at, uh, for us, uh, for India as such. 
Anish Sajan, we addressed this yesterday as well. Uh, seven openers in 2022. Surya Kumar Yadav opening uh, again uh, last evening. Uh, why not play a specialist like Ishan Kishan uh, in that position and drop Shreyas Iyer? Uh, I have no answer for this, Usama. To be very honest, uh, we understand that KL is injured. So that's the reason he's out. But Rohit Sharma had his other players except Virat Kohli, who would, not, who would be a part of the squad. So why not try those players and give them enough games going into the World Cup? You, you don't want to play put players into that big World Cup with 5, 6, 10 games. Okay, you, you're talking about IPL games, but playing for the national team is a total different kettle of fish as we saw in last year's World Cup. So this is, baffles me and I'm, I'm even I'm surprised whether they are hiding Ravi Bishnoi or they are just they just don't want to expose him. Uh, they don't want to play him. I, I'm sorry. So Ravi Bishno is your I would say trump card going into the World Cup. Okay, Eugene Chal is your main spinner, but he's your guy who will get you the wickets after Bumra. That's what I'm trying to say. That's absolutely. So I'm, I'm surprised why they're not playing uh, Ishan Kishan. Or to the fact that Ro uh, Rohit Sharma spoke highly about Sanju Samson that he's my player who will play the bouncing ball well in Australia, but he's not playing. Sir, it's a pro problem of plenty. I would say that. Uh... Uh, but Surya Kumar Yadav opening, India had tried this with uh, Ajay Jadeja in the 90s. Uh, similar kind of batsman, flashy but susceptible to the moving ball. Uh, uh, Yajurvendra Singh, uh, uh, what do you have to say about that? See, I'm, I'm just finding that they're not being able to settle their position. We are talking about a lot of great players. Oh, India has got three international type of sides that we can put out. But... Where, where is it? From 2014, we have not won any ICC tournament. And the reason is because we are okay. shuffling so much and creating such a big amount of pool of players, but not being able to settle them down. You know, if you're a number three batsman or a number four, you start understanding that position. Here you're sent opening, then you're sent six, then you're sent five. It's all, all confusion, you know, as such. And I'm, I'm quite surprised as to how the Indian think tank is not thinking right. correctly. And like you said, the bowlers, they also have to get used to it. And the fielders have to get used to where to stand for these bowlers. There's a whole system which has to be put into place. And somehow India is missing out. So we are getting a lot of quantity, but not quality at the end of the day. Right. One quick final reaction from uh, Rishi. Uh, what do you make of Shreyas Ayer's role in this team? Is he trying to play a similar kind of role that Virat Kohli plays where he... Uh, likes to take the back seat uh, and uh, let the other batsmen uh, uh, take uh, uh, take the action and uh, try and get uh, those runs uh, uh, when uh, the other p person gets out. Well, Osama, you know, uh, in T20 cricket, we don't really need someone to, you know, hold the innings at one end, especially the way we were batting yesterday, the way uh, Surya Kumar Yadav was batting. So at some point of time, you know, we need Shreya Sayer to start performing to get us those big runs with a strike rate of over 150. Because the moment he starts doing that, he'll get a lot of confidence and that'll help him keep his spot into the T20 World Cup squad. But uh, with the way he's batting, with the kind of performance that he's had in the last few months, right. I'm not really sure, you know, going into the Asia Cup or the T20 World Cup, whether he'll feature into the playing 11. So I think he just has a very limited number of games left for him to start performing and to... Right. you know, uh, make a place for himself in the playing 11. Right. Uh, well, this is one debate that is going to go on uh, for weeks now. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the show. Uh, it has been a pleasure. Uh, we'll keep getting you the updates from the world of sports. Keep watching NDTV.